Welcome, I'm Wendy and I teach applied science here at SGS College. That's a picture of me up on the top right. Uh, I've also put a little picture, a few pictures to show you where you would be learning applied science. So the top picture shows you the A block. So we're located in with all the um, academic courses, so all the A level courses. Then you can see the stairs leading to the science corridor and the picture on the bottom right shows you the sort of, uh, so we have four labs that's showing you a typical lab where our lessons would take place. The Applied Science course is a BTEC, so that means that it has a combination of exam based and assignment coursework based units. Um, our entry requirements for that are slightly lower than A levels to take into account that you can have a coursework element. So we ask that you have a, a grade four or above in English and then in maths and science that you get a five or above. You can use the credits from a BTEC in the same way as you would use them from an A level. And the applied science extended certificate that you would be taking if you signed up for the two year course are worth exactly the same number of points as an A level. So if you get a distinction, that's the same as an A grade at A level. A merit is worth the same amount as a grade C and a pass grade in the BTEC is worth the same as a grade E at A level. Some people choose to come and do the applied science course just for the first year and then you will just get the certificate rather than the extended certificate and that will be worth the equivalent of the number of UCAS points attached to an AS level. So some people choose the applied science course because they've really enjoyed science at school and they want to carry it on they, and they don't really know what career they want. Some people choose to do the applied science course because they know they would like to go and have a career in the biomedical field or they want to become an analytical chemist. It's a really good choice for people that haven't got those grade seven or eight at GCSE and are really passionate about the practical side of science um, because it's an applied course therefore there's a very strong practical content in comparison to the A-level so there's a little bit less theory and, and more developing your practical skills. Um, science qualifications are widely accepted in all areas because it shows that you can, you have thinking skills, you have practical skills. So pretty much any profession um, would benefit you having applied science alongside whatever, whatever other A levels that you choose to do. So in the Applied Science Extended Certificate, there are two years and you do two units in each year. So in year one, you can see there is the unit principles and applications of science. So that basically is a little bit of AS chemistry, a little bit of AS biology and a little bit of AS physics. And that gets um, and you get an exam for that in May of that year. And then the second unit is practical scientific procedures and techniques. So that's very practical based. It has four assignments and you will um, do those four assignments throughout the year and ha not have an exam at the end. And then those two grades get put together for your grade after that first year. And then in the second year, you do a unit called science investigation skills. So there's some set practicals that you need to do in class. And then there's a controlled assessment in May the following year. And the genetics and genetic engineering topic is an assignment based coursework based unit. So there will be four assignments for that. Um, and then all of those grades get put together to give you your overall grade at the end of year two. So these are the four techniques that you will specifically learn for the unit two in the first year of the course. So you will become familiar with carrying out titrations. You will have uh, skills in colorimetry. You will get skills in calorimetry and in chromatography. So you'll be given various tasks to do and analyze your results and then write those up. And that basically becomes your assignment based unit. And then the final part of that unit is where you um, look at how your skills have developed over the course of the year. Um, and you look at how that will make 
uh, how that will be beneficial in the science industries that you could potentially go and work in after you've got this qualification. So this slide shows you an example of uh, the analysis you might do with chromatography. So you can see there that a food product has been um, analysed and it has various different sugars present. So you could compare um, what it says on the label with what you've actually found and see whether um, that has been described accurately, for example. In one of the biology elements, you'll be looking at sampling the environment, so being able to monitor changes over time and the impact of uh, certain behaviours or if there was a chemical spillage or something. Um, so that would be in Unit 3. And this gives you an idea of something that you could be answering for the examined part of Unit 1. So some physics side of things. Uh, so you need to be aware of different types of electromagnetic waves and then why those properties will give useful applications to those different waves. So the course is really well supported with a textbook. All four units are covered in the textbook. That really helps you when you're revising and also when you're completing your assignments. Um, and there is a revision guide as well. Plus, the way we work here at SGS is that all of the lesson resources that you need are put into teams. So you might already be familiar with that um, from other educational settings. So I'll put the um, class PowerPoints up in advance so you get to have a little look through and I ask that you read through the relevant part of the chapter so that when we're in class we can really um, get on with the practical skills and discuss how they're relevant um, and do lots of uh, practice questions if it's for the unit one. So I hope that's helped you understand what to expect from the applied science course. Um, if you've got any questions about whether it'd be suitable for you or um, exactly how things are covered or, or anything else, please do not hesitate to email me. Um, my work email is wendy.thomas at sgscull.ac.uk. Thank you.